I got to update my health insurance or else I'm not going to be able to go to school. Hi stranger. Back with another YouTube video. Welcome back to my channel finally and as you guys can see I've moved into Barry University and I will be giving you guys a dorm tour and also a life update. Okay so as you can see I got my new Ray-Bans glasses. I don't know if I told y'all but it costs like $500 and $100 for an exam because our eye insurance sucks. <laughs> And so does our dental insurance, okay? I don't know if it was because they sedated me and they put me to sleep because, boy, when they put the anesthesia in me, the room starts spinning and I was out like a fucking light. Okay, like, and then I woke up and I'm like, did y'all even do the surgery? Because it was that quick and the recovery process wasn't all that bad. I just had to eat the same nasty shit day in and day out, like mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese. I mean, it's good, but you get tired of it at some point, but... It was a piece of cake, okay? Everybody been telling me that I was gonna cry. It was not painful at all, okay? The only painful thing was the fucking price, okay? And everybody was all getting mad at me. I'm like, I didn't ask for this shit to be $3,000. Yes, it was $3,000. And the insurance only paid like half of it, so like $1,500 or some shit. And I'm just like, bro. But safe to say, the whole process, it wasn't that bad. And also, I got my IUD, okay? The doctors are not going to tell you the truth about that fucking IUD, okay? Because I experienced hella side effects right after i was moody hungry tired because i was at work you feel me and i quit my big last job it was pretty sad because i was gonna miss those people but at least we exchanged the numbers but anyway the point is they is finna lie to you okay when they put my iud in i was in so much fucking pain like it was for a brief period of time it was like for two seconds but i freaking threw up because my uterus hurt that bad okay honestly they're going to lie to you that's all i gotta say and it has hella side effects yes they will talk you through it but my shit fell out okay okay my shit fell out like a couple days ago and mind you i'm in florida i gotta update my health insurance or else i'm not gonna be able to go to school so it's a good thing i told the nurse that my iud fell out because i had to update my health insurance and now i have a gynecologist appointment in october for them to put it back in but that shit fell out and everybody be like well mine's never fell out okay well good for you I don't fucking know why mine fell out maybe it's because i was using tampons but the internet says you could use tampons but baby lying to you okay it's just a whole fucking lie that's all i gotta say my life has been very stressful but i am getting better okay i've started my classes my professors are cool so i mean i take classes like english math to my dismay okay i don't fucking like math for those of you who don't know i take speech i take anatomy anatomy lab i take orientation classes and they're really pretty easy my teachers they kind of have an accent so it's hard to understand them but they're all cool you feel me everybody been trying to make it seem like anatomy is so hard to the point that you'll cry but i actually memorized most of the stuff already and it's actually really interesting because my parents and my grandparents did tell me that it's individual differences like you feel me some people might not like anatomy and some people might and me i'm a science person that's why i'm majoring in nursing because i knew that i would like this shit you feel me all well, my classes are cool and i'm definitely trying to get used to the time difference the weather difference it is humid as fuck okay i can't do nothing with my hair because it's humid as fuck and my hair will just be like poof i like this weather it's better than it being cold and snowy all the time but bitch it is humid as fuck especially when you're trying to walk around campus and this campus ain't even that small and everything looks the fucking same i'm just now getting the gist of where everything is you feel me i mean i have a map and everything and people are nice enough to help me i mean i've been making friends in my classes you feel me i went to a party yesterday it was a Barry university pool party i've been meeting a lot of people taking pictures and it's actually really cool at first I didn't really talk to anyone. I don't have a roommate. There's a lot of us whose roommates just didn't show up. Okay, I live in Matron Boss Hall, as y'all are about to see. I have six suite mates, so like girls that live in other rooms that are not my room, but are still connected to my room, if that makes sense. But my roommate, she didn't ever show up, but I was actually glad because me and my fucking mom, okay, 
thank you to her because she was a great help but we were fucking struggling okay from the airport we were struggling we had to bring all these heavy boxes and bags we're being charged overweight and oversized fees and shit and i live on the second floor i live on room 12b so we was just struggling carrying my microwave and my fridge up here it was just a whole fucking struggle, okay? Me and my mom, we had fun, we toured, we went to Cuban restaurants and shit like that, you feel me? To my dismay, she's gone now and I'm on my own, but I have been doing better. But at first, I just felt like I didn't fit in because all the other freshmen seemed like they just had their friend groups, they just had everything together, their room together, and I did not, okay? You should have saw my room when I first moved in this bitch, okay? The bed, everything, like, me and my supposed roommate's beds were crowded with my junk, okay? My whole room was messy because I brought a whole bunch of shit, a whole bunch of clothes, and it seemed like everybody else's room was all nice. And it took me a while to get mine together, so I was definitely a bit stressed out. It's just the culture difference. It's just the whole difference here in Florida. I like Florida and all, but I was just stressed out at first. I mean, it is expected, but honestly, I just seemed like I was the only freshman who was stressed out. I did finally decorate my room and get it together, as you guys are about to see. I actually just finished i mean i still need to clean it some more because we have like these hard floors that i need to clean and they're just so hard to get clean you feel me but yeah the school is good i have yet to go to downtown and the beach i really want to go there i really want to take ralph on a date because i met ralph and he is so amazing I if she come over, she fucking Billy the goat. And a discussion, run up the guap. I'm chasing these hundreds. My music different. Everyone loves it. He's everything I could have ever dreamed. Okay, I've met him twice already, but we don't date yet. I know that I said that we would date once I get down here, but we actually need to have a whole conversation on how to make our relationship successful before jumping into something and we might do that this weekend so i'll keep y'all updated i'm sorry for not posting like that but yeah i might take him on a date soon and also i have a work study job interview august 30th our work study rates are 15 an hour so that's good and i might be working with community service and stuff like that i still have questions about the job but that is good i like the university they have nice clubs the school spirit is actually pretty nice you know they had a nice dj at the pool party we was lit we was dancing and other information i don't even know if that can be disclosed because youtube policies and i don't even know who be listening to my youtube videos at this damn point in my life okay but at first i didn't really eat like that because y'all know me when i'm stressed or depressed or angry i don't fucking eat but i just now start eating at the cafeteria and they got weird hours but their food is actually good you feel me they got pizza chicken hot dogs you name it i've been meeting some of my instagram friends that i knew here but i haven't met in real life i finally met them and they're really cool you feel me and i've been making friends so i guess things are all good but anyways i've been rambling for like how many minutes now and uh, we need to get to the tour okay anyways i'm gonna try to make this quick because my storage is failing but i don't even know if i was supposed to put anything on this side of the room because roommates just be popping up but you feel what i'm saying i brought a lot of stuff and i'm overwhelmed anyways this is my closet i got some purses here clothes shoes more shoes over here it's just a nice display bags i know i got a beach ball somewhere hidden back there my weights and these drawers honestly are hard to fucking open but i don't think i put anything on the top drawer these are just toiletries i know i got some vitamins back there and then these are some more toiletries i don't have anything on this top drawer got iron ironing board those are k-cups for like my keurig it's over there and then LED lights, some decorations. Cause I actually put my LED lights up actually quicker than I thought. It's kind of fucked up over there, but you know. And then I got this tapestry here just so the room wouldn't be so blank. It says good vibes only. It's my school book bag, my school ID. I chose this picture. I sent it to them. It has a filter and everything. Look at me actually looking cute on a school ID, okay? And my makeup bag. I was at a party last night and I was using that. I didn't feel like putting it on. I don't know, I'm lazy. Toaster, some more sugar and shit for my curry. Wax melt thing. Those help a lot. And these little things too. 
blender, my plates, my matcha shit, you feel me, silverware. These I use for my matcha as well, these mason jars, spatula. We don't even have a kitchen over here, I don't even know why I got that. Anyway, I got crystals, cause as y'all know, yours truly, okay. These little foot octopi, I was gonna say octopuses, I was gonna sound so uneducated, but you know. Someone gave these to me in my job, and they're really cute, like that's a toothbrush holder, hand soap holder, and this you can flip as well, like you feel me, you can just like, Whoop. And then these are my toiletries, you feel me? My shower caddy. I know I look ghetto right now, y'all, because I just got home from class. But anyways, my infamous skeleton tapestry, my mirror, my curry, resistance bands, Apple Watch, Dior bag filled with facial stuff, galaxy projector and remote. Honestly, I don't even know if I put anything in this yet. I know y'all are like, you over here wasting space over here, but you don't want to push it in that. I know y'all, I know, but my debit card don't work at any Walmart, New Mexico, Colorado, Illinois, Florida. So Ralph had to buy me that because my debit card was not working at Walmart, okay. My paintings, y'all already know, Starry Night. My tripod is broken from traveling a little bit. I mean, I could still use it, but I didn't use it. Anyways, y'all, cause my thing keep cutting off cause my damn storage. But anyways, I just got miscellaneous items up in here. My laptop, my books, my umbrella, decorations. And this is like my favorite desk in the room because I have my LED mirror, I have my LED cloud, I have my record players. Olivia Rodrigo, you feel me? She got me through a depressing time. So yes, I listened to her, okay? <laughs> LED lamp, speaker, decorative camera, decorative thing that my best friend gave me. You are the icing to my cupcake. <laughs> And then we have Chicago poster and all my little pictures I hung up here. Picture of me, picture of me, my best friend at Six Flags, picture of me and my other best friend, little me, me and my other best friend right there. Salt in the air, sand in my hair. I really love this because it goes with Florida so much, you feel me? And I hung up clouds and stars up here, very aesthetic. I have a poem over here. I love poetry. I don't know if I told y'all this, but I be writing poems, but these ain't my poems. I got these off of Sheen and I really love these decorative poems. Anyways, this one says, I love you not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I love you not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for the part in me that you bring out. That is so fucking cute. Shout out to Ralph, you know. <laughs> Cleaning supplies, the rest of my clothes. I know y'all like, bitch, you don't need these clothes. Shoes, I hung up some more of my poetry, some more posters, jeans and shit. And then in these drawers, I just have my underwear, my socks, miscellaneous items, my hats, you feel me? I'm trying to hurry up because my storage be tweaking. Anyways, here's my rug, my flip flops, and my dunks out because i wear those the most so yeah anyways this is my bed i hung up some more posters and tapestry there goes billy <laughs> my bed ain't done i'm so sorry y'all i know i'm a mess i got purses under here and then my towel my hamper still i know i just do it this is big ass toe that me and my mom had to pay overweight fees for my trash can, I know I need to empty, I need to do a lot of shit. In here, I keep my feminine products and all that stuff. At the back there, I have extra luggages and extra hangers. And that is my skincare fridge. It is so adorable. Okay, this is my fridge. It has those sushi magnets and this is all my food. I actually think I have seasonings in there. And then this is what's in my fridge. Yeah, that is basically all. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hurry up. My storage is tweaking. But let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos. Leave nice supportive comments. Tell me how was y'all day. Tell me how y'all been. And if y'all did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a nice supportive comment. Click the bell so you notification every time I post a brand new video. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. <laughs>